Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Isaac Hernandez. I study, teach, and make music. And today I wanna to show you something cool with Reaper, which is how to get rid of unwanted noise. What I'm particularly tackling today is a guitar buzz. I had a, a take that I really liked. I liked the vibe and I've re-recorded and everything, but I never quite caught the vibe of that first take, which I really liked. So I wanna show you how I got rid of that, but this can work for some background rumbling noise or if you had some things here and there and it's a vst that already comes packed with reaper so you don't have to download anything uh new you don't have to pay for anything it literally it comes with reaper so you're all set to go let's take a look okay so we're in reaper right and what I was working on here was my podcast theme song. This was a, a while back, but I want to show you how I did it then. Um, so check it out. I want to see if you can f if you can hear the buzz first. Right there and maybe it's not the most obvious thing but when i rendered it and it, you know i put it on my headphones i'm like man it really jumped out at me so here let me isolate it it would be in this lead track right here you hear that buzz it's in between the notes and it, it was just it was just driving me insane um i actually left it because i didn't know how to do it you know it, it's some i didn't know how to do it so i just kind of like okay i want my podcast theme song i didn't want to re-record it so i left the guitar buzz for a while and every time i uploaded an episode it was driving me crazy okay so here is what you do you isolate the track obviously maybe mute it and um you're gonna mute way way in into where you hear your buzz right so right there like right here now this is tricky because as you can see the guitar tone is still playing it's not it's not just the buzz I'm holding out the note so it's ine inevitably going to pick up some of that and like take away some of that but we'll do so it takes a little bit of finesse and practice it isn't perfect but it is a big like that buzz once it's horrible so check check this out you find that spot and then you go to effects and you're gonna find this uh, refer. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. You just go to your plugins and it should be this one right here. You plug that in. I'm gonna do it from scratch so I can show you. And what you're gonna do is go to mode. Here you have a few, you have gate compressor. You're gonna go to subtract, okay? And then what you're gonna do is click automatically build noise profile. Now what that's gonna do is well, when you hit play, it's gonna pick up those signals those frequencies and then it's gonna take it's gonna take them out so you want to say that's why you want to pick out the ones that you don't want that's where you're gonna hit play i'm doing this very quickly like literally playing and stopping right away so check this out like that just like that i just wanted to pick up the buzz and Ine inevitably is gonna pick up some of the guitar tone so watch what happens now you gotta turn this off again otherwise it's gonna keep uh picking up the ones that to to suppress or to take out the frequency. So click unclick this. So you see you're sacrificing a little bit of the tone, but look. That buzz is gone. Right? Now what I do here is play with the uh, how I, I let some of the original signal by going on the top right and clicking this little wheel right here. So if, if I take it all the way off, it's like turning 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 it off basically. So I, I turn it back up to like 90. You gotta experiment with it a little bit. Maybe a little less, cause you wanna keep some of that original tone, but not the buzz. See for me, that's, that's okay. Maybe a little bit less. And then I'd have to play uh, with the EQ a little bit, which I would do um, with uh, with this, 
here maybe with uh, my VST where I process guitar and to bring up a little bit of that body back, right? But for right now, we're just focusing on getting rid of this buzz. Hear it a, a little bit, you know, maybe like 80. But that's, check that out between that and this. That's a big difference. And then something that I do also just if, if you're doing this with guitars, not that you have to. Again, this works if you, if there is like a rumble. It actually would work better if there is a rumble in uh, in your mic. Like if I was talking and there was like maybe a fan in the back or something like that, I could wait for a quiet moment and then just signal that out like that noise and take it out here. It's tricky because, again, I'm sustaining the note. What I did, uh, something that I could do to bring back some of the and I did this already, some of the body of the or like that that like mid you know the, the mids that are so important in guitar and um i doubled it and this this is a very common technique but i doubled the track i eq'd it a little bit not nothing crazy but look at listen to it in the mix and i actually did this with the rhythm track as well and i forgot to turn it on because i hear not as much but i hear a little bit again It was mentioned to me by my uh, podcast co-host that this song sounds like a 80s police soundtrack, which I don't mind at all. That's cool. But the fact of the matter is that once you bring everything back and that buzz is gone, especially in a song like this where like there are spaces in there, you know, where I play the notes and then it's just the drums and it leaves room. And in that, in that space, it, it was more apparent, uh, the, the buzz. So I hope that helped. As you can see, Reaper comes loaded with really powerful plugins and that's just like a tiny part of it, but I, I found it super useful, especially in a case like this. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe the video, hit the bell notification, all that stuff. If you like the content, it will let you know when I upload again. So until next time.